will quickly move on from here into the hypothesis tree. So, so far, guys, you understand that what did we do with the issue tree? What we did was we broke down the problem and we asked the how question at each stage that how can I do this? Right? How can I do this? Now, another way is basically that at the end of this issue tree, let's say I assumed, right, that okay, labor is even, even with labor, I can't do much. Labor cannot be negotiated with because, you know, anyways, after lockdown, it was very hard to find labor. So I can't ask them to work more. I can't ask them to reduce their price. So maybe I implement a system and then I'll reduce the total labor only, the requirement only. This is the hypothesis that I have will solve my problem. This is the end point of my issue tree, let's say, in this case. Right? Now, what will a hypothesis tree do? A hypothesis tree will basically go from top to down again. That, you know, I reached this point. Now I have to go bottom up to say, why do I think this can help me? Why? Hypothesis tree will ask the why question at each of the split. How? Let's look at this. So, a issue tree, as you saw, was to break the problem down. Hypothesis tree will be to create an assumption around the solution and then prove why a particular solution is what we are choosing. It's basically the answer to the leadership when they ask you, why are you choosing this particular solution? Why do you think this will work out? So let's look at issue tree versus hypothesis trees. So what does issue tree does? Issue tree identifies all the potential ideas. Is that correct? Yes. It will ask how you can meet a desired outcome. It's excellent for organizing the ideas in a messy manner, you know already. And complete issue tree will uncover everything. Nothing will be left. So the great thing will be that you will never risk of being of, of looking stupid after doing entire work on behalf of your team and going to the client and the class client asking, Hey, what about this? And you are stupefied there just thinking that, Oh, we did not think about it. That will never happen. If you work with issue trees, how many times has it happened to you that you've gone in front of your teacher or you've gone in front of, uh, like, uh, the most common and funny example of issue tree is when you ask your mother, where is your t-shirt or where is, where are your socks or are yeah, right with your mother or with your wife, whenever you ask that question and many times you look stupid, right? Because she will ask you, Hey, have you checked there, there? And then on the third option, you'll be like, no, I haven't seen it there. So basically you didn't check all the potential options that you should have. And you went to the client, right? So that was the issue tree. Now hypothesis tree is going to do what? It focuses on building up an argument or conclusion on why you believe, you believe something is true. The why question. So you could ask, right? That, Hey, Ash, why the labor, uh, saving production process? Why? They're excellent for narrowing down the in investigation to ascensions, right? That they, they would prevent you from unnecessarily uh, getting lost in a pool of analysis, which is also called analysis paralysis at times, right? That you only conduct analysis, which is essential to prove the hypothesis, right? The so what of any data that is presented is basically displayed in the hypothesis tree. And a hypothesis tree, when you complete it, it builds up a complete argument. So how it does that? Till now, we had come up with that example on how to increase the profit from existing business lines. And we came till a certain point, right? We said that, okay, we have all of these options. And among all of these options, now we are going to choose one and then we are going to 
build up the argument that why this is the one that we need to take. Look at the continued example. So the hypothesis in this hypothesis tree is the name of the company does not matter, guys. Forget about this Acme widget company. Forget about this from mats. It's the same example, Patanjali or whatever CPG company. But the important thing is that the assumption is that we can increase the profitability through a streamlined production process, which is basically connected to that labor saving production process that we're talking about. It's the same thing. All right. And now we build on that. That to increase the profitability, we can do it with the new production process. And we build the hypothesis tree with a why question here. That why do you think new production process can help? Let's take a look at it. How will that be done? Now you're building up an argument saying why the option that you have chosen is the one to go forward with. Or why are you choosing that option? Now, here, it's not, it's not about me see in general, right? Because it can be very subjective, but still you have to make sure that everything that you have to build up your argument on that why question, you put it out. So why are you going to do this? First is it will reduce the cost. Of course, right? That and that will lead to increase the this thing. Second is organization can implement the necessary changes, right? So what is the point of you giving a solution if the company can't implement it, right? So that becomes an important part in your why argument for that particular option that, hey, we can implement those changes. Otherwise, you know that the option was there were other options available for saving the cost, right? There was an option to increase the number of hours of labor working. There was an option to decrease the price that we were paying labor. But the problem was that those were probably not implementable because the company is saying that after the lockdown labor is as, as it is not available. So I can't keep the labor and pay them less. I can probably what I can do is I can bring some process which requires less labor. So, okay, I can fire some people, but I can't ask people to work more hours on the same price or I can't ask people to uh, take less for the same number of hours. So that's the implementation point. And also another thing is that, okay, we can maintain the product quality while implementing this process. So it's like, it is not going to risk the quality of our product, right? Are you guys understanding the hypothesis tree here? How is that being built? How that this argument is being built? Yes or no? Come on guys. Quick. Tarun, Parimal, Mansi, Shweta. Sanjeeva, where are you? You're there. Parimal. What's your issue? Uh, Parimal, I don't didn't understand your question, buddy. Does we do we know what exactly you're trying to say? Okay. I think what you're trying to ask Parimal is that this why question that we ask is on the solution that we're thinking on the hypothesis that we've made. Just try to understand that hypothesis is what? Hypothesis is what you think the solution could be. 
right? What you think the solution could be? After breaking the problem down in the issue tree, we had only broke broken the problem down. Remember, it was not a solution; it was just potential options, right? Hypothesis tree we bring in, saying that hey, I am saying that this is this could be the right solution, and now I will explain why. So that explanation of why is what is happening here. Let's 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 look at the next level of this tree, and you will further understand. This is this hypothesis tree is basically what you will take to the leadership to take approval that hey, we've decided we recommend doing this, and then they're going to ask you why. That's when you're going to going to show it to them, right? So another why is that okay. Organization can implement the necessary changes. Yes, is it? It is more like a justification for the proposed solution, uh, Shweta. You can you can consider it like that, or basically you can find this is a method of narrowing down on your argument and close the discussion. so two things again right you put two more points here that hey you can implement because first you don't require new facility second you don't require new skills right and then you can just keep moving like this right and close the argument that yeah i think with all of this this makes complete sense for you guys to adopt 